I was a very long time Vera user. A couple of years ago, I started to hear a lot about Corona and I was curious to check it out. I didn't think about switching, just wanted to test it a bit. But I immediately fell in love with Corona and switched right away. Which engine to choose? This is one of the most common questions we get, and I would say it all depends. But let me share with you today why it's better to choose Corona over V-Ray based on my personal experience. I just feel that I can get better results in Corona much faster than in V-Ray. I don't mean that it's not possible to get outstanding images in V-Ray, in Corona it's just quicker for me to get results I want. I'm not really a technical person and I've never liked to learn about settings. But in V-Ray it was really helpful, so I had to gain these skills. But in Corona there is not much to change and this is why I really love it. It's simple and ready to render without lots of changing. Corona Material Library is really helpful as you can add some good quality materials on the objects in your scene. Sometimes you need small adjustments and it's ready to go. Super useful to have the most common materials ready to apply in one place. For me, Corona Frame Buffer gives better results. I really like the whole tone mapping panel and LUTs that gives this extra touch to the images. I also found the bloom and glare effect more realistic in Corona. I feel as the output from Corona gives more natural effect. In my opinion, it's closer to reality. I don't really like to do a lot of post-production in Photoshop because sometimes it causes a lot of additional work, especially when the objects change position in the scene. That's why I really love Corona, because you can get great results without any additional post-production. And it's much harder to do this this way in V-Ray. As I said at the beginning, it wasn't a big deal for me to switch. Actually, after one project, I felt as I've been using it for a long time. And last but not least, the most important feature for me, light mix. This is why I fell in love with Corona in the first place. And this actually is mostly why I switched to this engine. Composing lights is much easier and faster there. You can see the preview immediately without restarting the preview. And you can even change lighting completely after the render is done. As with everything, there are some cons of Corona as well. For example, Vera Renderer is faster. But we don't care too much about render times. Also, your skills as artists are much more important than the render you choose. Overall, for me, Corona is more user-friendly and I can get better results in less time. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this. Do you use Corona or V-Ray and why? Also, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a more in-depth comparison of these two renders. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.